Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today talking about one of the missions. This is the third time I'm recording this video because I want it to just be just right to help out new people. It's how to complete this here endeavor. Clear High Midgar Soma's Trial on Standard. Okay, so that's today's video. If you end up finding any helpful, if you end up liking this video, whatever, please leave a like. Comment how you, your current status of trying to get this, what characters are using, stuff like that. And see if maybe I can help you out a little bit more if, if by the end of this video, if you're still not 100% sure on it, hey, I'm here to help out in any way I can. So here's my basic thing, and this is going to be the basic thing I'm going to go down for, is the best characters for someone starting out to use on... Um, to use specifically for this mode is probably Zanya and the Prince because they have mana spirals that are super cheap compared to other mana spirals. The hardest thing to get there, I think, is the incandescent orbs, but you can get those pretty simple nowadays. Um, but that's like the hardest thing to get, and even then, before they even start requiring them, um, it's not going to be tough because I think in the the drop or the drop zone, I'll. Man, see, this is exactly why it's been so hard for me to... Point is, at the end of this video, I'll tell you where it drops for, like, new people and stuff like that. But the point is, is that Zanya and the Prince are both um, Mana Spiral units who are super powerful and can take down this event pretty easily. Um, so first things first, I will say this much. Um, the kind of perfect setup for Zanya does require to have two Worm Prints that are, one, super limited, so you can't get. One is Candy Couriers. And the other is Elegant Escort. So for this specific uh, video, I'm going to take them off. And I'm going to use the print that they tell you basically to use, which is this one right here. It is uh, Glorious Tempest for High Midgar Soma. And then for the second one, I'll use the one that's actually able to get. I'll use this right here. I'll use um, Jewels of the Sun. Um, you want to have... Um, Burning Punisher on her. That's what makes her best. That's something that you will use for Evolk and stuff like that. But for standard um, High Midgar Soma, you're not going to need it because the event is super easy and not that hard to do. So, And for weapon, I'm going to remove her weapon, which is the Inferno Blaze, which is a fully done out T2. I'm going to go down to a weaker weapon. Let me see. Plague Root. No. Turngans. No. Scepter of Infinite Fire. Yes. No, because that one still might be a little bit too much for most new people to get. Mm, I'll go with this one. Because it's literally like the T15, I believe. And we'll go with this one. So that drops down her might to 7,000. Again, not bad. For Dragon, I am going to keep Konohana Sakia. She's very rarely ever going to see play on this. She's level 100. So here's the actual toughest thing about HMS, is that the people that you will be co-oping don't know how to do the fight. It's something that's um, a big pain in the butt to actually do. So before we do into this, I am, my, I am going to play it solo, just to show off some stuff from it. I recommend you not play solo, because the AI is too dumb, and they will kill you almost automatically. So I'm going to use low one right here. Then we're going to go in. And I'm going to see if I can show off some of it. So for Zanya specifically, the character I'm saying to build up for this is Zanya, And you have to make sure, and I'm being 100% on this, you have to get her mana spiral up. And I'll show the mana spiral at the end of this. But here's the kind of the basics of it. From the start, he's going to do a giant storm thing right here. This is basically an HP check. If you're not strong enough to survive it, you will die. I'm using this to heal up. Um, from this point on, you just, from back here, go here. So here's another thing that he'll start to do, is that he will always do a Tempest. You want to get out of the way of that. If you're DPS, you want to be behind them, um, so you can start. So he'll do that. He always does this. He always does this on a set pattern. And then he'll fly back, and then he'll start shooting fire, uh, wind balls, starting by three. So there's one, and he will always target the person closest to him. In this case, it should be Mim, because she's DPS. And then he'll always do this. It time goes into eight things gonna go here for this part of the fight everyone needs to go in or everyone dies so you have to make sure to tank that and then from here he's gonna target one person it's gonna be me i'll live it 
But you want to get away from everyone else when he does that. Hit him like that. And then from that point on, this is why I'm saying Zanya is so easy, because if you're DPS and you're using someone with like a melee weapon, you have to be up close to him and constantly hitting him. For me, I don't need to do that. I just need to stand back and keep hitting him and dodge the moves when they come for me. That's it. Simple enough. And then he's in break state, which is fantastic for us. Hit him like that. And again, I cannot emphasize this enough, even though we're winning. Um, dodge that. Remember, be careful when using skills, because that's the one thing that will trip you up. If you get caught by that, you will die, especially if you are a new player. Um, you have to be super careful with that. So then, there you go. He's going to die right here, I believe. Right here. Yeah. And then he's done. Asunder. That would be the great big 8 move he was about to do. We'll go here. Alright, now I'm going to jump into co-op to show how it's like when you're playing with actual people now. <laughs> Cleared. But as you can see, like that's kind of the basics of the fight. Um, that's how it kind of goes. If you're playing DPS, the one thing you should do is remember to hold the force strike. Uh, because I'm not showing off a DPS character. That's not something we're going to really need to do. Because no matter how much you try and hold back, he will always kill you. So, gather wings. Three. Oh, wait, I'm going to host it. Because I don't want to disconnect. That would defeat the purpose. Okay. And I'm going to put it at zero. I'm going to accept everyone that comes my way. Absolutely everyone. Because that's the way someone's going to be. Okay, let's see. I'll do all I can with what I've got. 7,000 might. That's how strong mine is, even though I'm holding her back a whole bunch. Emma, sure. Emma's a solid choice for this. Nobunaga is also a solid choice from this. If we don't get a healer, that's going to be kind of a bummer. So I'm going to see if I can quickly... No, couldn't make it in time. So here's the one thing. We should not start with Delphi. There we go. That's perfectly good. Let's do it. That's 100% beatable. That's 100% beatable is what my current feeling is, so let's see me completely be wrong. Okay. So yeah. Very simple. And this is something that I think is why a lot of people are having trouble with High Dragon Trials, is that they're playing units that, at their young level, is like too hard for them to actually kind of like... Like, there will, become, there will come a time later when you can learn your harder characters and you can be someone like a DPS, someone like Rena or something like that, but... Why bother so much when you can just literally play a 3 who's upgraded to a 5 and deal a whole buttload of damage and have no trouble at whatsoever with this fight? Like, all you need to do is hang back and not get hit by the fire, the, by the wind balls. And I believe he's gonna do, yep, 3 right here. Again, he will always target the ones closest. And there we go. So it's very important. The one thing that these DPSs are not doing is kind of being close. Remember to go back. Perfectly fine. This is the part where everyone gathers up. Everyone gathers up. See? That healer? Very bad. So you'll know for a fact that um, if they had actually gathered up, we would have been able to save them. We didn't, though. So that's why we're probably going to die here. <laughs> and this is legitimately the actual hardest thing about this mode, is that one person screws up the rotation and it kind of screws the entire team. So that one healer deciding not to gather up has kind of screwed up, screwed us up a little bit. So try and Tempest. That's not trouble. Dodge that pretty easy. But I believe that Emma's just 100% dead now. So I need to get back the hell away because I know. Yeah, he's going to target him. And I want him to get hurt because that's what he gets for screwing us up. So the Emma really needs to... Yeah. Okay, so it was the Nobunaga who died, not the Emma. Okay. This is, again, the... Okay, now for this part here, which we did not see when I was playing with me, it's up to you now. Yes, it is. There. If you do not kill him, he will one-shot the entire team. So that's very important that you kill him. All right, and then once you go from there, you can go back to hitting him. And here's another thing, you'll notice that I'm trying to avoid the top of the stage, and there's a very good reason for that, and that's because he's about to do a cyclone move, and when he does it, um, it goes in a very specific rotation. I constantly forget the actual rotation for it. I'm actually going to go up close, because now I feel like there's no actual DPS. Go here. Okay. Go here, yeah. Perfect, he broke. Okay, now we can just, boom, go into him. 
Alright. Perfect, perfect. Okay, no, very not perfect. Okay, again, we're fine. We've only died once. We're gonna be able to beat him. Never give up as well, by the way. Here's the move. So based on the way that the, um, the tornadoes are going, it's depending on how they're gonna go. So... You can see the clockwise way they were going, they were going to go that way. The reason I dragoned is specifically to show like which way it was going to go and not have to worry about it. This is actually the toughest fight for me because I can never remember which way clockwise or counterclockwise is the way to run away. Alright, here's the rending asunder. He's going to try rending us asunder. It's okay, for this part, you don't have to get to gather up if you go dragon because the dragon will eat the hit. There you go. And you'll live perfectly fine and everything will be fine. So again... When no one has dragon, gather up. When someone has dragon, they can go off to the side and get hit by it. All right. We did it. Uh, I think everyone did a fantastic job, except for, again, the healer who did just kind of stay there and get us killed, who was the Delphi, but hey, it's fine. We ended up winning. Standard, not a big deal. Level up. No, I don't want a weekly. Uh, all right. Now do some side work. To show you some other stuff that goes with Zanya specifically. So this is the thing I was talking about with Mana Spiral. So first of all, because Zanya is a three, you are gonna have to promote her all the way to a five. And I'll just do a random three just to show how it's done. So boom, uh, this is a three. This is how much it would cost. Get her up to. Th I'm just doing this for example. This. I don't have a Zanya to, to promote, so I'm just promoting uh, this lady right here, who I'm forgetting the name of, but she's fantastic. Sibella. Perfect. And then once you get her there, you upgrade her to the next step. Oh, well, first of all, he wants me to do this. Mm -hmm. Confirm. Promote. Uh, right here. That much. That's how much Eldewater is going to take, but it usually ends up being worth it because of... Um, Ends up being worth it because of how good the units are once they get their mana spiral. Okay, go here. And the reason I'm upgrading here is to show you, by the way, the unit you plan to use for this mode is the unit that should get your crystals for, for real. Because the 100 stats actually does help a whole bunch. Then you go here. Okay, now this character specifically doesn't have a mana spiral, so we're not going to be able to sh see that. But from this point on, you would go into the... Um, who's someone with a mana spiral I can show off real quick? Yeah, Cleo's one of them. I haven't finished Cleo specifically, but... See? Here would be the last one. So you get... Let me see, there's a way to go backwards, I believe. Oh, come on. It's kind of a pain in the butt to navigate, but it should be fine. There we go. See? You want to unlock all five levels. One, two, three, four, five. Go in here. Activate um, the mana spiral. It will cost something. And then from here, you make your way up the spiral until you get to all the way here at the end. Ooh, I can actually finish her... I could do that right now. I'm gonna do it. I was pretty sure I was saving those over for Yasu's um, something else, but whatever. <laughs> I actually use Cleo, so I'm gonna do that. Um, for specifically... Let me see. It's a shame that I can't show you from here, because once you click here, it doesn't show you the materials it uses. But for Zanya specifically, it's going to be... Where is it? Right here. It's going to cost you 500,000 mana, a roundish, 27 Inferno or Orbs, 29 Incandescent Orbs, 15 Rainbow Orbs, 4 Longing Hearts, 3 Knights Testaments, uh, 23 Flameworm Scale, sc Skate Scale, excuse me, 2 Burning Hearts, 3 Blazing Embers, 4 Windworm Great Spears, and Champion Testament. And you won't need the Great Spears until the very end, so you don't have to worry about the standard attack level all that much. Uh, once you have like everything up to there, you'll be perfectly fine. I want to say as soon as you unlock Pyro Blossom at level 3, which is the last um, skill that unlocks for the Mana Spiral, which is, I believe, right here. 
right here. Yep. Yeah. Once you get to here, you're perfectly fine uh, as a unit. And then you can easily beat Standard and then finish her training, specifically. Now, for a, young, for a newer player, where do you find a Condensing Orbs? You can do one of two things. You can either actually go to the stage, or you can do this. You can go to the Treasure Trade, you can use your Fafnir Medals, and then you can actually get the, the stuff to finish the Mana Spiral right here. Now, you are limited to, I believe, 50 a week. Let me see. Held. 50, yeah. And you can use this to get kind of the stuff. If you're having trouble specifically farming for it, for the materials you need for their Mana Spiral, you can just get the stuff right here. This is a last case resort time of thing. But you can definitely do it here. And you... The thing that I would do is you're a high, if you're a high level player, this is the thing that you kind of get, and this is actually the thing I'm going to get as a champion's testament because you need that for um, for five mana spirals and stuff, and for other five units in general. You need a lot of this, and you never have enough of this. But if you're starting out in the game, I'd say it's perfectly fine to use some of these on like, you know, if you can't beat um, the specific nodes to give you the thing. Like if for whatever reason, like oh I badly need that final mana spiral, then you can unlock it here, and you can. Have a good time there, but yeah, that's kind of my basic tips for it. My main thing is use Zanya. Zanya is great, and even with not the perfect setup, you can still totally beat it. I think. And you saw me in there. I was like true in my best. I died once, but that's the basic thing you need to remember: is to just dodge and hope that your other teammates live, and that's it. Standard is very easy, and extreme is where you have to start kind of thinking about what to do next and stuff like that. So yeah, that's today's video. Man, this took a long time to record. It's <laughs> I think I've been recording for about an hour trying to do it, so if you end up liking this video and it's helpful, please leave a like. And again, if you still need help, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than willing to help if I'm awake and stuff like that. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Where's the stop record? I need to get water. See you later!